Welcome to our video on understanding mechanical properties of materials. In this video, we'll explore the fundamental properties that define how materials respond to applied forces, and why they matter in engineering and everyday life. Let's start with one of the most critical properties, strength. Strength refers to a material's ability to withstand applied forces without failure. There are several types of strength, including tensile, compressive, and shear strength. Tensile strength. Tensile strength is measured by subjecting a specimen to pulling forces until it fractures. It's crucial for applications where materials are subjected to tension, such as in bridges and cables. Compressive strength. Compressive strength, on the other hand, measures a material's ability to withstand squeezing forces. It's essential in construction materials like concrete and masonry. Shear strength. Shear strength is the ability of a metal fractured by opposing forces not acting into resist being a straight line. Shear strength can be controlled by varying the hardness of the metal. Next, let's discuss hardness, which is a material's resistance to deformation, indentation, or scratching. Hardness is the ability of a metal to resist penetration and wear by another metal or material. Hardness can be measured using different methods, such as the Brunel, Vickers, and Rockwell hardness tests. These tests help engineers evaluate a material suitability for wear-resistant applications. Now, let's delve into elasticity and plasticity, which describe how materials deform under stress. Elasticity is the ability of a material to deform reversibly under stress, returning to its original shape when the stress is removed. Plasticity, on the other hand, involves permanent deformation beyond the material's elastic limit. Toughness and ductility. Toughness and ductility are crucial properties that determine a material's ability to absorb energy and deform plastically before fracturing. Toughness is the ability of a metal to resist fracture plus the ability to resist failure after the damage has begun. A tough metal can withstand considerable stress, slowly or suddenly applied, and will deform before failure. Ductility is the ability of a metal to be drawn or stretched permanently without rupture or fracture. Metals that lack ductility will crack or break before bending. Next, let's discuss malleability. Malleability is the ability of a metal to be hammered, rolled, or pressed into various shapes without rupture or fracture. Machinability and weldability. Machinability and weldability are the ease or difficulty with which a material can be machined or welded. Stiffness. Lastly, let's discuss stiffness, which measures a material's resistance to deformation under applied loads. Stiffness is the extent to which an object resists deformation in response to an applied force. The complementary concept is flexibility or pliability. The more flexible an object is, the less stiff it is. In conclusion, understanding mechanical properties is essential for materials engineering and design. By considering factors like strength, hardness, elasticity, toughness, ductility, and stiffness, engineers can select the right materials for optimal performance and reliability in a wide range of applications. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more educational content, and don't forget to leave your comments and questions below. Until next time.